Hola! You all are about to do some listening activities for Chapter 3A and 3B. You might need your textbook if you don't yet know all of the vocabulary words. Let's go ahead and get started. So here are the instructions for Activity A. A health class is doing presentations on staying in shape and eating healthy foods. So you are going to hear five short statements and you have to determine whether each of those statements is either logical, which means that it makes sense in terms of staying healthy and eating healthy foods, or whether it's illogical, which means that that statement doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's not a statement that would make sense in terms of someone trying to stay in shape and eat healthy foods. So on your sheet of paper, you are going to circle the appropriate choice on your handout. Now, if you think that the advice given is illogical, if you think that that advice does not make a lot of sense, then on the space on your handout provided, I want you to rewrite the statement so that you have a new sentence that does make sense. Um, here's an example. You see here, if you hear, no es importante ni hacer ejercicio, ni comer comida que es buena para la salud. And this would be a statement that is illogical in terms of someone who wants to stay in shape because saying it's not important to exercise or eat food that's good for your health, obviously that doesn't make a lot of sense if you're trying to stay in shape. So you're going to circle illogical and then you're going to rewrite the sentence so that it does make sense. So here's my new sentence. Hacer ejercicio es muy importante. También es importante comer buena comida como las frutas y las verduras. Notice that I might have added a couple of extra things. I actually took this one sentence and I turned it into two. Um, I don't really care how you rewrite the sentence, but I still have, have included the same ideas that I did in my first sentence. The fact that exercising is important, whereas up here it says it's not important to exercise. Then I have also, it's important to eat good food, like, como without an accent means like, like fruits and vegetables. Whereas up here it says, nor is eating food that's good for your health. All right? So on your sheet, um, well, this is what your sheet should look like. So make sure that you have this sheet with you. Um, you can go ahead and reread the instructions if you need to. But remember that for this PowerPoint, we are only going to be doing Activity A. So let's go ahead and get started. Número uno. Para mantener la salud, es importante caminar o correr mucho, como tres días a la semana. Para mantener la salud, es importante caminar o correr mucho, como tres días a la semana. Número dos. Para mantener la salud, nunca debes hacer ejercicio. También debes comer muchos pasteles y helado. Para mantener la salud, nunca debes hacer ejercicio. También debes comer muchos pasteles y helado. Número 3. Las zanahorias y las judías verdes son muy buenas para la salud. Deben comer mucho de ellas. También debes comer carne como pescado y pollo. Carnes que no tienen mucha grasa. Las zanahorias y las judías verdes son muy buenas para la salud. Deben comer mucho de ellos. También Debes comer carne como pescado y pollo, carnes que no tienen mucha grasa. Número 4. Lo más importante para la salud es que la comida es sabrosa. La grasa no importa mucho. Lo más importante para la salud es que la comida es sabrosa. La grasa no importa mucho. Número 5. Cuando yo tengo hambre por las mañanas, 
Yo siempre como comida como el tocino, las salchichas, los panqueques con mucha mantequilla y bebo tres tazas de café con mucho azúcar. En mi opinión, esta comida es buena para la salud. Cuando yo tengo hambre por las mañanas, yo siempre como comida como el tocino, las salchichas, los panqueques con mucha mantequilla y bebo tres tazas de café con mucho azúcar. En mi opinión, esta comida es buena para la salud.